In observance of Domestic Violence Awareness Month, JTV News is featuring the work and struggles of the Family Support Network, the nonprofit organization which has led the fight against domestic violence in the Virgin Islands while offering support to victims for over two decades. Last week, we told you about the FSN's struggle to keep its doors open. Despite their many successes and assistance to hundreds of families, the organization says its funds are drying up. This week, we continue our conversation with President of the Family Support Network, Judith Charles, as she describes how the organization responds to those who call for help. We get you, we rescue you, to, for lack of a better term, okay? And we have, we are able to house you for up to three days. There are circumstances which require us to house you for safety's sake for longer than that. So once we get you out and we do our intake in our office, let's say the next day, uh, it may require us to take you to the police if you have not written a police report. A police report is incredibly important to the entire process. Then if you need a protection order, we can help you with that. We have lawyers who volunteer their services free of charge. So the protection orders and, and the occupancy orders and, and whatever other legal documents you need to fill out, there's assistance for you with that, okay? Um, then <clears throat> if it is felt that you need longer ongoing help, there is counseling. And we have received um, volunteers who have come in, especially in the last couple of weeks, and offered their services, and they are all qualified to counsel. Prevention, crisis response, and rehabilitation are the basic ways in which the FSN helps individuals and families. Charles says there are instances when the FSN has to provide basic essentials, such as clothing, to rescued individuals who flee their homes in emergency situations. Very often, when people need to get out, they get out with what's on their back. Sometimes they don't have on shoes or, you know, they're, they're traveling with kids who are in diapers and stuff. The office has a pantry where clothing for adults and children and, um, and emergency supplies of foodstuffs are available. I've personally gone and picked up foodstuffs. Uh, we partner with the um, St. Vincent de Paul Society of the Catholic Church. They give us foodstuffs. We pass them on. Um, and then the rehabilitation, which can include counseling, but very often includes help getting this person on their feet. So we also have partners who help us with something we call the Single Mothers Fund, which is a fund where the staff in some of these, um, like accounting firms and things, they put some money and every month they send us this fund and we help people with things like emergency supplies, Sometimes we've had to help people put together money for rent or a, a security deposit, things like that. The FSN president said the biggest challenge they face is changing people's perception of domestic violence and getting them to admit that the social ill is present in the community. Charles says more financing can help to bring awareness about domestic violence and its destructive effects on families. It's sad perhaps that since Bible times, and with the 23 years of work that FSN has done, we have not been able to change the mindset of a great many people. We have, we have changed some hearts, we have um, made some inroads, but the majority of people still want to think that one, it isn't happening here, or two, it isn't happening to us. It's happening to those other people. Well, yeah, it happens to those other people, but it's happening to us as well. Domestic violence doesn't have any kind of parameters. It's not for, for poor people. If a woman is a waitress, it doesn't mean she's more likely to get um, abused or violated than somebody who is a lawyer. You know, there is, it's across the board. And we've had as clients all of the above. So money will help us to be able to afford, for instance, more community outreach perhaps, because all these brochures that we do with information about what is domestic violence, the signs to look for, what we do. All these little brochures, they're printed in the office. We do it ourselves. We, don't, we can't afford printers because it's not free. 
The FSN is determined to continue its work in the community and the president is appealing to the public to support the Family Support Network through donations and volunteering. Also, their fundraiser, Dancing with the Stars BVI, coming up on October 26th. You can contact the Family Support Network on 494-7622 for more information. Next week, we will continue our feature on domestic violence awareness as it is being observed throughout the month of October.